What's up guys, and welcome back finally to another episode of my Shabos Iron Man series. I know it's been a while since the last upload, but just know that I'm still working at it slowly but surely, and I have no real plans to quit this account anytime soon. Just been quite busy with fairly generic real life stuff. Anyway, as for the episode itself, the main game plan for this one is to acquire an amulet of power by the end of the video. In order to get my hands on one of these, I need to unlock barehanded magpie amblings by getting 75 hunter. By the end of the last episode, I was thankfully able to shave off a decent chunk of this grind by ending at 70, so the primary focus for the start of this video is to knock out these last few hunter levels, and then after that I can finally get back to hunting some more amblings. Before knocking out these last five hunter levels though, there is one quick thing that I need to do beforehand and that is to grab myself three more fishing levels at the good old Shazian fly fishing spot. I currently have the hunter requirement to catch a new tier of aerial fish but I do not yet possess the fishing level so I'm gonna grab three levels real quick 70 to 73 shouldn't take too long and hopefully I have enough feathers to get me there because I'm not really too sure at the moment I guess I'll find out soon enough though. So apparently I had completely overlooked this, but I had an extra 20 or so mulch pearls in my bank saved up that I had no idea about. So if I combine those with the mulch pearls that I collected in the last video, that puts me over 100, which is enough to buy a new piece of the angler outfit. So that's a pretty nice surprise. Suppose I may as well swing back by the island and quickly pick up myself some angler pants. There we are back at the angler shop picking up the angler waders. What's a waiter? Oh, I guess it's like, you know, you're like waiting in the water or whatever. Um, but yeah, let's pick these up and that should give me, I believe, a 0.6% increase in fishing XP. So combined with the top, I think that totals about 1.4% increased experience. So yeah, looking pretty sharp. Two out of four pieces out of the way. Nice little surprise coming in. That's the first genie that I've gotten in quite a while. So let's go ahead and slap this on farming once again for the free 190 experience. How's it going my impish friend? Really appreciate you stopping by to help motivate me through this fishing grind. This book should put me just one more random event off of level 20 farming. Really close actually, only 15 XP. 73 fishing complete, feels really good to get that out of the way. Didn't take too long, only a little bit of AFK time and now it's done. So let's head back over to the mulch island and test out the XP rates of the modeled eel. I haven't looked it up yet, so going in completely blind, but it's going to be nice to have a, a new type of fish that I can occasionally catch that will slightly boost my XP per hour. Back when I first got the level required to catch a common tench, it took about three inventories before I caught my first one, and I honestly thought something may have been wrong at the time, so I'll be curious to know if the same thing happens with the eel, because yeah, I thought something may have been up. I was a little bit confused, and oh, I also forgot my uh, knife. Good thing there's a spawn here. All right, as I was saying, it took a long time to catch the tench. Will it take a long time to catch the eel? Let's see if I can get it on my first few attempts. Oh, there it is, 65 fishing XP and 90 hunter. That is so good. Oh man, I'm really stoked for this. I know the rate of getting the eel really isn't all that high, but it's still such a motivator to finally be able to catch three tiers of fish versus two, because I was honestly getting so tired of seeing the same old tenches and bluegills in my inventory all day long. Well, I suppose at this point, it's smooth sailing all the way to 75 hunter. First level of the episode, 71 hunter. Can technically catch imps now, but unfortunately, of course, I don't have imp boxes, but if I could somehow get those, that would be amazing because there's tons of imps swarming around the farming guild. This is the first fishing level since getting back to Mulch Island. That's going to be level 74 fishing. Over 100k XP between levels now. Not too fun to look at visually, but at least it means I'm getting somewhere. 72 hunter and also getting pretty close to being able to buy a third piece of the angler outfit. The time has arrived once again to purchase yet another piece of the angler outfit. This is going to be the third one and honestly these last 100 pearls really didn't seem too bad in comparison to the others. I don't know why. Maybe it was marginally faster due to having slightly higher hunter and fishing, but yeah, it didn't seem too bad. But let's go ahead and purchase the hat, I suppose. Obviously, it doesn't really matter too much, but this would just be ever so slightly more efficient to buy. So let's go ahead and pick this hat up. And that is three out of four pieces. Just one more to go. And so begins the final push to the last 100 mulch pearls. There's the first one right there, as a matter of fact. I think with the current three pieces I have, I get a 1.8% increase in fishing XP. But once I get the boots, that'll boost me up to 2% on the dot. And then it gives me a set bonus of 05 
totaling 2.5% bonus fishing XP. A quite random and rare cooking level coming in, considering I get like 2 to 3k XP per hour, these things are quite uncommon. And not very long after that cooking level, there is yet another hunter level, 73, right on the numeral. Just two more hunter levels to go. Just now realized that I recently surpassed 1 million total hunter XP, so technically 1 13th of the way to 99. Moderately significant level coming in right here, that's 75 fishing. I don't think this serves me any benefit, but it certainly looks nice. Well, I guess I sort of take that back. I can catch a new fish within raids, so it is somewhat relevant to me, but I don't know if that will be terribly useful or not. And with this last click of the mouse, this will embark me on the final stage of this grind. 74 hunter, the final level is upon us. The final push, only need 114k hunter XP, which is quite a lot, but at least it's the last level. Also kind of annoying how the game is constantly reminding me when I can catch a new tier of impling, except for I can't because I don't have jars. 76 fishing, which is the second to last level that I will be getting on this grind. Also only 30,000 experience off 75 hunter, and I only have six multiples remaining before unlocking the final piece of the full angler outfit. So kind of neat how both of those look like they're going to conclude about the same time. That was pretty remarkable timing, honestly. Also kind of forgot about the significance of this fishing level. It may not be relevant to me right now, but can now do sharks, which is sort of cool. I just need to get my hands on a harpoon at some point. I don't know if I'll be able to get one, but kind of cool to have them unlocked. Turns out what I said earlier was a slight lie. I will be gaining one extra level before the end of the grind, and that is 65 cooking. And there we go. Just bought myself the angler boots, which are the fourth and final piece of the full angler outfit. I'm probably like one of 10 total people in this game to acquire the outfit using only aerial fishing. Like, I don't know the exact number, but I'm genuinely curious about like how many people have acquired the outfit using this method. Honestly, I'm probably part of a pretty elite club. Probably not that many people have ever done it this way, but the set is now acquired. I get a nice little set bonus in terms of fishing XP, so that's quite nice. And I'm also only 17k Hunter XP off 75. The final, final home stretch is now upon us, so let's get it done and knock this XP out. Also, before I forget, if you're wondering what I'll be spending my future mulch pearls on, the only real option I have remaining is the fish sack, which is a whopping 1,000 mulch pearls. So, to put that in perspective, that's like getting two and a half angler outfit sets. I mean, you're probably already aware of how long it took me to get one set, just imagine doing that like two and a half times. So this thing's going to take a long time to get. Once I go for 84 Hunter in order to bare hand catch Ninja Implings, this is something I'm going to uh, passively try to save up for. This thing is absurdly expensive, aerial fishing is dead content, and I don't even know how many people are aware this item exists. It's got to be like one of the rarest items in the game right now. Like, how many people even own this? It's got to be less than 100, easily. It could even be as low as like 10 to 20 for all I know. So, getting this item, I think that would be a pretty cool goal. Not many people have it, and that would put me in a very, very elite club. It doesn't even feel real. I can't believe it. I'm done! Put the word done in quotation marks because I'm not actually done, because I have to come back here for 84 Hunter to bare hand catch Ninja Implings. And then on top of that, I also have to come back for Dragon Implings, which I think are like something absurd, like 93. Is it 93? Oh man, it is 93. <laughs> and then 99 for Lucky Implings. Oof, I don't know if that will ever happen. I'm going to work towards it. I mean, slow and steady. Each time I progress like one more tier, then the end will look a little bit more achievable. So maybe one day I'll get 99, but for now I'm going to take it one step at a time. And let's go head back to the little alleyway behind the farming guild and see if I can't find myself some magpie implings. Honestly so happy to get out of this place and take a little break. It's going to be so nice to get random events again because if you didn't know you can't get randoms on the mulch island for whatever reason so it's going to be nice to look forward to genies and uh, XP tomes again. I'm definitely going to enjoy that. So yeah let's head back and take a nice vacation from this place. Well, the last time I hunted Implings, I found Magpies pretty commonly. Like, not that common, but I'd find a few per day, so I'm hoping that I can replicate that and it won't be, you know, a situation where I just can't find them now that I actually have the level to catch them. I feel like that's gonna happen. It's like, you know, it's one of those things where you don't have the level, you see a ton of them, and then once you do get the level, you don't see any. So I'm hoping to avoid that situation, but I guess only time will tell. Hopefully I have some good RNG when it comes to scouting these imps. 
Aside from just hunting the magpie implings, I will obviously be catching the other ones I see, but the ones that I really have my eyes on are the Eclectics and the Baby ones. The Baby ones have a rare chance of dropping some hard leather, which I can eventually turn into a hard leather body, which would be a nice range upgrade, and the Eclectics still have a rare chance of dropping some blue dehyde chaps. I managed to get the red spiky vams, but I still need those blue chaps, so I'm going to keep my eyes out for those two tiers of imps on the way as well. And I almost forgot, no more world hop limits, so that's quite nice for this grind. I didn't even remember that until I started just like a couple moments ago, so yeah, that's improved my mood quite a bit. First eclectic spotted, let's get those chaps. Please get lucky. Watermelon seeds, that's a pretty rare drop. I suppose I'll keep those. That's like one out of a hundred. I got nothing. What? You can get nothing from baby amplings? I didn't know you could get nothing. Oh yes, there's the first one. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm so excited to catch this guy. Unfortunately, I can't get him, but eventually they do come back south. See, look at that. I found that every time they go past the water, they always come back. So this is it. I'm gonna wait for him to fly a little further on land. So if I miss, he doesn't fly back. Rings of forging. <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, that's probably one of the worst things I could get, but it's still really exciting catching my first one. Actually, I'm being dumb. These things are pretty good, because that'll be really useful when I'm smithing for the first time, because my smithing is still one, so once I start working on that, I'll have a 100% success rate when smelting iron bars, so... Yeah, I'd say these are pretty useful. I'll definitely hang on to these. Ah, uh, dang, the first ninja impling has been spotted. That's a little sad, kind of, um... Depressing not being able to catch these yet, but one day. Yes, another one! Come on, give me something good. Give me at least, like, a piece of armor of some kind. Oh, no. That's definitely worse than the Rings of Foraging because I can never use that. Are you serious? This was, like, 30 seconds later. That's so lucky. Now give me some more luck and give me a... Aw, oh, Snapdragon Seed. That's pretty good, though. I mean, I won't be able to use it for a while, but that's better than a tooth half of a key. Oh, wow, I just got him. No way, that was so quick. Hey, nice, that's exactly what I wanted. And I can wield them too, since I have the range level. I honestly can't believe that was so quick. So I went from zero range bonus to plus 11. Plus 11 range bonus just for one item. That is so awesome to see. Really excited about these upgrades. Oh, dang, another dragon impling has been spotted. That's the first one since getting back here. Kind of cool to look at them but it's an elusive beast that I am incapable of catching. One day though. Ooh, a diamond. I'm getting all sorts of rare loot from the Eclectics. Like, I think that's three in a row. I got the seeds, I got the chaps, and then the diamond. Those are all one out of 100 drops. The usual drops are just one out of 25, so yeah, I'm getting pretty lucky with those. What a world. You got a ninja impling and a magpie. That's a, a pretty good uh, scout right there. Let's go ahead and catch this guy. Anything good? Hmm, you know, that's good, but I'm not going to be able to use it for a very long time, so I'll take it, but I'm hoping to get something that I can use, like, in the immediate future, instead of, like, the very, very vast distant future, so hopefully the next one gives me a piece of armor or something. And here's the result from the first inventory of imp hunting, amounting to 156k. I know the value doesn't matter, you know, being an Iron Man, but still kind of cool to keep track of that, so gonna go bank this stuff, and then start up on inventory number two. Magpie Impling number four has been spotted. Let's see if it gives me anything good. It does indeed. Mystic Boots acquired. I don't think I can use these yet, can I? Yeah, I probably need to get the magic level. Uh, gonna be quite some time until I have 40 magic, but it is achievable. Getting runes is not easy. I mean, one of the best ways that I get runes, honestly, is by catching uh, the essence implings. Don't worry though, I do have a backup plan for training my magic up, and that is to enchant jewelry. I can get a bunch of cosmic runes through the organized crime activity by killing gangsters, and as a matter of fact, I already have a few hundred of them stocked up in the bank right now. So that's going to be a method that I'm going to use to train my magic up in the future. Magpie impling number five has been spotted. Let's see if I can get another piece of armor. Ring of Life, okay, um, yeah, I kind of forgot that that was on the drop table, that could be useful, I'm pretty sure I can use that, I don't think I need to do the Lost Tribe quest in order to, like, be able to utilize the effect, I'm pretty sure I can just go ahead and use those right now, so, yeah, that's actually pretty good for, like, in terms of keeping the hardcore status, because the servers have been pretty shaky recently, and I was fully prepared that I might lose the status, which really wasn't a big issue for me. It's never really been about being a hardcore, it's mainly just, you know, 
being an Iron Man restricted to this region, but it's going to be a nice little um, bonus if I can keep the hardcore alive. So this will help with that. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I just got another pair of chaps. Oh my gosh. I just got these, man. I didn't even record because I figured there wasn't anything noteworthy that I still need from Eclectix, so didn't even bother. But there's another pair of chaps. I don't even know, like, was that back to back? Wait a minute. I think it was. <laughs> I think those were back to back chaps. Oh man, that's funny. Never mind, I just remembered that I got a diamond in between these, so it wasn't back to back, but it still was two chaps within three eclectics, which is still quite bizarre. This one just snuck up behind me. I was just waiting here for a little bit, just AFK, and this one almost snuck past me, but this is number six. Anything good? Two Runite bars. Well, <laughs> that's the first of those on the account. Can't say I'll be using those anytime soon. Come back here, little fella. Give me your power amulet, please do it, you know you want to. They tend to get stuck like on this rocky outcrop and then they just fly back south, so you just gotta be patient. Oh, it looks like he's coming back already. Nice. No. Snapdragon seed. Hmm, you know what? That's not too bad. I already got one of those, so that makes two now. Oh, there's another one. What is this? Number like seven, I think? Anything good? Power amulet? Oh my gosh, I got completely baited. Oh, no, I was worried this was gonna happen, and it did. Well, I guess I'll keep trying. Can't really do much with these, because obviously I don't have the magic level required. Let's see, I need 57 magic, so that's not happening anytime soon. I was hoping I wouldn't get these. I got totally baited there. <laughs> Thought I had them there for a second, but I guess I gotta keep grinding for them. Inventory number two valued at roughly 115k. Oh, I thought that was leather at first. It kind of looks like it. I mean, just for a very, very split second. There's another one, Magpie Impling number 10, I think. Oh my gosh, yes, there they are. Oh, that's such a relief. Right after I got the, the bait amulets, like the uncharged one, I managed to get the actual amulets of power. So that's really nice timing. That did not take much longer. All right, um, yeah, that's a really big upgrade. Let me just quickly run up to this bank to unnote them and then I can test out the stats on this thing. That's gonna be such a good upgrade, honestly. It's gonna be like basically going from no amulet to like an amulet that's actually a pretty high tier. I mean, just one tier below glory. And I mean, this thing literally gives no bonus, it's just cosmetic, so this is a substantial increase. All that work at the Mulch Island, doing all of that aerial fishing, amounted to this moment right here. Oh, look at that thing. It's gorgeous. It is just beautiful. Oh man, I can't get enough of that. It's so good. Look at that. Plus six to everything attack-wise, plus six to everything defense-wise, plus six to strength, plus one to prayer. What can't this thing do? The magpies are just rolling in now. Man, I just got like back-to-back -back worlds with magpies. I just got a pineapple seed, and this time I'm going to get split bark gauntlets. Okay, that's a pretty interesting drop. I wonder what magic level you need for these. Up oh, 40 once again. Unfortunate. So it's going to be a while until I can use all this magic equipment, but it's still pretty cool to get some new items. Oh snap, just got another medium clue from an eclectic. Any chance? Oh my gosh, I can actually do it. Yes! Oh, that's so sick. Man, the last time I got one, I just went ahead and tried out the next step, and of course, as you might expect, I wasn't able to do it. But with this one, I think I'm just going to chuck it in the bank, because eventually, I might be able to attempt juggling clue scrolls. It's going to be really, really difficult, because I know people that have access to more steps than me, and it still takes like hundreds of hours, potentially, to do one clue scroll. So I might not ever be able to do a medium, but who knows, maybe in the future they'll add more steps and it might just be worth hanging on to this one just in case. Oh, I have missed this random event right here. I really, really need some arrows right now, so if I could get some of those, that would be quite nice. Seventy-four percent reward potential. Come on, that's got to be enough for at least some arrows. Come on, please. Yes, there we go. Six hundred eighty-five. That's pretty good as well. As some coal and one hundred and fourteen death runes. Man, I just love the maze random event. It's so good for supplies. Oh, another one. Yes, give me something good, please. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. The rune square shield. Oh, that's so good. I've had really good. RNG when it comes to implings, like, I really cannot complain. The one thing that I'm dry for is the hard leather from the baby implings. It's a 1 out of 100 drop rate, and I'm at 109 total cots, so 
I'm a little bit dry there, but everything else I've gotten before raids, so I really cannot complain. This is my new best in slot shield until I can get a rune kite shield from one of those head uh, imperial guard things. I'm not really sure what they're called. Very substantial upgrade for my defensive stats. I go basically from in the 20s to 30s all the way to the range of in the mid 60s. That is so darn good. What a nice upgrade. I think I'd have to say my most underrated favorite part about playing this account is simply the sheer volume of people that come out here and ask me what the hell I'm doing because you have these people inside the farming guild minding their own business presumably farming as you might expect and then they see this guy just standing outside the guild in his bizarre outfit and they just tend to talk to me I just love it when that happens when I have interactions with people inside the guild they're just like asking me what the heck I'm doing out here it's a really nice part about the account kind of underrated oh my gosh I literally just saw this one spawn that's so lucky let's see if it gives me anything good even if I don't get anything that- oh my god. I did get something good. I was gonna say even if I don't get anything that good, it's still nice to be able to see them spawn. Now I can pinpoint the exact location. Now I have both the Mystic Boots and the Gloves, so not too bad. Really looking forward to uh, when I can actually use this stuff. With that being said though, that basically completes the entire Magpie drop table. There's a few things that I'm yet to get, but they don't really count in my book because it's basically useless stuff, like a Sinister Key. I can't really do anything with that. So I've essentially gotten everything useful. Aside from a Rune Warhammer, which isn't like crucial, but it might be nice to have a uh, crush related weapon on the account So I wouldn't mind getting one of those, but it's not really like of paramount importance that I get one Anyway, though, as I said, I've already managed to get myself most of the really noteworthy items from magpies So that's going to be a pretty good stopping place for episode 9 and I will resume back in episode 10 with some skilling endeavors I plan on advancing my thieving so I can eventually steal from the chests that give you a Xerix Talisman, and I'm also going to look into a potential method for training up some agility. As always though, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate all the kind feedback on the series, and if you ever want to hang out or reach me, feel free to join the clan chat. It's always open, and aside from that, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Take care.